to Bojangles. Here's Cameron's new whip. You haven't seen it yet because I deleted the last moto vlog that I recorded because I'm a screw up. So, hey Cam. Let's get some Bojangles and then we're going riding. <coughs> All right, so we are passing through Collettesville right now. This is the uh, park over here, Garden Flossy Park. Amazing name, by the way. Um, yeah, we are almost to Maple Sally. You can see Cam in tow right there in the rear view. We're just going to go up here a little ways and we'll be on to the gravel getting the festivity started. Today should be a fun day. Uh, it's rained, just a little bit of rain the past like two days. Um, today it rained for maybe like an hour or two hours and yesterday it probably rained for I don't know two or three hours. Cameron hasn't done any like trails or like actual off-road yet so um, there's a few trails that are super muddy and I know it's gonna be like probably out of his comfort zone a little bit and honestly it's still out of mine a little bit so I want to see uh, how he does and if he likes it this is Maple Sally Road I guess technically this might be Murphy place uh, we might not be on Maple Sally yet but there's a little road up here goes up to the right this road is 20 miles long there's mile markers on it all the way to let you know kind of how far you've gone in um, and it's also a great thing like if anybody comes and rides here and you're not from here as you're going it's a good thing to remember the mile marker signs in case you have an accident or something um, especially an accident where you can't you know walk within a mile to get to a mile marker sign because you may need to tell someone where you are so that you can get help so yeah, this is how you know where the start of the road is. You've got this gate here, and this is where those mile markers will start referencing, I believe. And I am leading, uh, it's mainly uh, because I feel, I think I feel a lot more comfortable emergency braking um, around a corner. That doesn't mean that I won't dump it, but I would rather me dump it <laughs> if I need to than Cam, because Kim's bike has no scratches on it yet. I want him to be able to keep his bike new for as long as he wants to. Uh, hopefully we don't ruin that today. This is a cool little place here where they've done a bunch of burning. There's a waterfall that comes down there sometimes. You can see a little bit of water. Look at him. There he come. He's looking good. Other reason we're kind of going at a slow pace today is really for safety. Um, we've got get this out of the road before that kills someone. We had a high wind yesterday. And today like sustained 20 miles per hour so it is not that unheard of out here to have trees down that block the entire road hoping that we don't get like towards the end of it and then have a down tree that can be a pain in the butt sometimes but it does happen okay i think we're coming up on a trail here yeah this is it Awesome. Let's pull off up here and we'll give let Kim evaluate this first little hill. It might be intimidating for his first little spot. This is a little trail. This first part looks intimidating. But um if I'm about to go up a hill, I just kind of get into a gear that I know I can get to the top of it in. So set you can stay in first. You'll be fine and uh, just even throttle all the way. I'm gonna go up it and first even throttle and you'll be good. Just like that, I'm gonna stop here. Make sure cam feels good. Nice. And then we'll just keep going so he can keep his momentum.
stay moving. First little mud here. Round one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was bound to happen. <laughs> I got out of sorts there too. <laughs> I've got paper towels. We can wipe you off when we get up out of here. You did you did great. Perfect dismount. It was going down It was perfect. Nothing's bent. Brake still looks good. You're good to go. Yep. You think it's rideable out of this? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. You get on there, put your butt on the seat, put it in first gear, and you're just tractor straight out through here. I don't think it even scratched anything back here. I don't know what exactly I did. It was almost like Last second, you see that right up the side? Uh-huh. It's like a panic pit in there, probably. I think you lost your front a little bit. That might have been what happened, because the front just went. Instead of, I don't know, I don't know, it just happened so fast. Oh yeah, it does. Come to life, baby. There she is. You're gonna be just fine. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you're riding off road with people, so like if I see this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like give padding so that the person can get all the way to the top, see if they fall, because uh, it will give you a chance so that you don't get caught behind me. Because if you have to stop your momentum, it's really hard to take off on a hill. But this one is the same thing. This is not a bad hill. It looks worse from right here. But it goes up and then I think it goes to the left. So um, one thing you will want to do. So your tires will be caked up when you come out of a situation like that. Especially where you had to go through it slow. So I would like give it a good bit of gas going up through there. Um, and I'm going to go up. And I'm going to take the left line. And when I get to the top, I'll kill my bike and tell you if left or right. Okay. All right. I would start here. You got roots here. So if you stick left right here, and then, when I get to right here, my eyes are looking up and I'm seeing that root on the left up there. So, in that tree, I don't, that tree's not going to affect you in any way. But, like, I rode on the left up till here. And then I went over. But, anywhere in here, if you can make that transition over to the right and get up on that right side... It's a cleaner line. You'll make it up on either side, but here you don't. You can avoid all this stuff slapping you. Perfect. Perfect. Hill climbs are really intimidating when you first start. So I remember being overly nervous on my first one. So wanted to get off the bike and do a rundown. Awesome job, dude. Yeah, everything else is pretty easy. Yeah, so I'd say 50% of you going down in that mud, at the very least, is tires. Yeah, don't get, don't let that get in your head. And also, you've never done that. You've never felt mud underneath you. It's weird. All right. 
Round two. You got it. There you go. There you go. So you still, right. you went to the right. And that's what made it feel washy there. Yeah. And it wasn't so much I was trying to, it was just, I guess I'm still a little wobbly on takeoff, especially uh -huh. in here. And uh, I think that's what caused me to kind of kind of push out to the right. Do you think you're looking down? Are you looking at the mud the whole time too? Oh yeah, 100%. I know, I know there's at least one more trail. Would you rather hit that one again or go on to the next one? Let's hit the next one. Okay. That's enough mud for me today, I think. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cameron said he feels good. He's tightening up a little bit more than he wants to. Um, and he's... Now he's working it on... Working it on... He's working on <laughs> loosening up and uh, being a little more floaty with stuff. Hoping that if we get go at this like slower pace that he'll be able to loosen up kind of naturally as he goes. I'm going to hit this and scare Cameron. No chance. And that is the smartest move for Cameron right now, is to not hit things that make him uncomfortable. This is that off-road section that might be a little tricky, so take your time going up through here, and uh, if you see anything that's crazy, feel free to stop, and we'll turn around. I'm going to try to take the easiest, least resistance path possible. Not the line I would typically take, but so this stuff, just tractor up through it. Great job, Cam. Still on two wheels. Nice. Another mud section for Cam. You got this. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> what a save! You did great! <laughs> oh goodness. Hey, you can go as slow as you want to. I mean, you got all kinds of room there, so it might still be soft over there, so just, yeah. There you go. Good job, buddy. You go ahead, you got it.
I'm gonna watch Cam here. Good cross over there. This is a better line. Good decision making. Awesome. Avoided all that junk. Nice. Cameron's line selection is looking good. There you go. He's staying up out of that rut. Very nice. I'm going to follow his line. This looks good. Oh, very interesting choice. Hard to see there. That was perfect though. It is super cool to take someone trail riding who hasn't done it before because this is to most people watching this that trail ride this isn't adrenaline pumping or anything but I know that Cam is like wired right now and that's really awesome that he's having such a good time. I mean I am too. I, I can go at any speed and have a good time but it's really awesome to see. Good job, dude. We've got some more mud coming up here. Good job slowing down, assessing the situation. Picking your line. Very nice. Good job, there you go. Hit it with the speed and you can stay up out of the mud. Good decision making. Awesome. Dude, you did awesome there. Thanks, Good line choice. I'm gonna let my bike cool off. So we just finished up our ride. Uh, Mabel Sally had a really good day. Did you have a good day, Cameron? I did. Um, so do you feel like you're a better rider after today? 100%. It's good to face some Much stuff better. that you haven't done yet. So I feel like I'm a better rider too. So. I still suck but I'm we, better than I was. We both <laughs> still suck, and we will continue to suck, but it's fun. So anyways, we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.